Hi, this is Kathy Azar from Catherine Azar Photography with Greg Cazillo, and we are here with Jared, the marketing manager for Black Rapid. And as you know, if you watch our show at all, Greg and I are both passionate users and wearers and devotees of Black Rapid. And so we have a few questions for, for Jared. Absolutely. Starting out, my screen went down. Um, so where did Black Rapid come from, the name? The name, uh, well, our founder and CEO, Ron Henry, uh, I think he always knew that it was not always just gonna be about the camera strap, and he wanted to kind of keep it you know, loose uh, to be able to move into maybe even something like apparel, outdoor wear, that sort of thing. So yeah, he left it, he left it open that way, but also I think obviously there's the black, it's a fast strap, it's a black strap mostly. We're getting into colors now, but uh, so there is a literal interpretation too, yeah. Excellent, and we were just talking that's, that you brought up colors, that's good, because one of the things, I, I love the functionality, but I would like a little bit of a prettier strap. And <laughs> well, we of course we have the pink strap, which uh, all of October we've been supporting the 2-2 project, uh, and we wanted a pink strap anyway, so it just made sense. Uh, but uh, yeah, we've, we've dabbled into colors with our uh, kick strap, which is specifically marketed to women. Uh, the kick strap kicks the webbing to the center of the chest, so it's more ergon ergonomically fit for a woman. And uh, so we have colors in, the, in that line, Line as well as the curve strap right now. And I think down the line we'll be playing with it more because we've gotten a really good response from it. So Excellent. That just goes to show that, that people are looking for it. Yeah, I mean, you know, still obviously I think a lot of photographers love black. Uh, it's a, I think a, a vast majority of photographers want to blend in and not really call attention to their, but you, you still get that uh, occasional photographer who wants to stand out and make a statement with their gear, so yeah. And I think it depends what you shoot. If you're shooting a wedding, black's probably the way to go. If you're a portrait photographer dealing with little kids, something colorful is just fine. Exactly, that's, just, that's exactly right, so. Well, you mentioned the tutu project. You want to tell us a little bit about it, given the fact that you're standing here in a pink tutu? Oh, did you notice? Yes, yeah, I have a tutu on. We just, we're just having a little a bit of fun. Uh, we've made great friends with Bob and Linda Carey of uh, uh, the Carey Foundation is uh, the, the foundation behind the Tutu Project. And Linda, of course, she was diagnosed with breast cancer a, a long time ago, actually. And uh, it's just a great project. They sell their book, Ballerina. It's a self-published book. And they have 2015 calendars here, too, that they're signing at our booth right now, actually. Awesome. And uh, it's just been a, a fun par uh, partnership. The, the photography connection just made it, it, it made sense for us. And uh, yeah, it's just been, it's been fun. So. so explain what Bob did for people who don't know about the project. Bob, I mean, he started photographing himself in nothing but a tutu, and uh, so he gets a lot of attention for that. And uh, he photographs himself in unique locations. So he's been in, he's been to Berlin in front of uh, uh, some famous landmarks, for instance. Or else, uh, I mean, a lot of his photos are actually very introspective looking too. Just a single guy in, a, in a nothing but a tutu. It's just fantastic photography. But of course, all the proceeds for uh, the sales of the books and the calendars go towards their organization, the Carey Foundation. Uh, Foundation, so yeah, and absolutely, and you can find their information on your website too, correct? On our website, uh, the two two project.com or the carry foundation.org as well, so uh, it's all over the place, yeah. Excellent, I'm feeling a little underdressed <laughs> standing here. We should have given you one, I know that'd be great, that would have been great, but we're going to get a picture of Greg and one in just a little bit. And I, I should mention, so we, <laughs> yeah. We came out with a pink uh, kick strap, I already mentioned, but $10 of every sale of that kick pink goes towards their organization too. So it's a huge donation. We think we're re very proud of, of, of the partnership, so yeah. So speaking of the pink strap, what other kinds of straps have you come out with? You wanna talk about your product lines a little bit? Yeah, I mean, other than colors, we've uh, dabbled in, uh, we have the shot and the cross shot. The shot is a, a, a shoulder strap that would simply hang straight down as opposed to a crossbody solution. And uh, that's, I think that's great for someone, especially, I, I always imagine like a, there you go, it comes in orange or black, and uh, you're able to just hang it off of one shoulder. It has this amazing grip on the, on the underneath here, uh, so you're not constantly having to adjust it, which I see all the time with other straps. Uh, but it's still on the sling system, so that as you're bringing the camera up, it's not slipping on your shoulder. Uh, and then we have a crossbody version of this as well, so. Uh, it's just a lower profile strap, a, a less expensive uh, option too, so, yeah. I think that's the one that uh, you sent so Greg. Strap, so I think Greg. <laughs> I love it. He's doing my job right now. You know, I think you. For years, and I like to come in and uh, help you guys out. So maybe next year. Well, and we were talking about we need to get you up on our website as far as being an ambassador for our product because okay. you've been excellent to us. So as love far as just getting the word out there. So love yeah, to. yeah. That'd be great. yeah. And one of the things that Greg talks about is he's ambassador for you because you make straps that fit big guys. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we have uh, an option the the Burt, which will give you an extra like 15 inches of webbing. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one thing I should 
mention is all of our straps are actually streamlining now where they'll have a locking, bu a locking buckle on the back, and you can add any of the accessories to any of our products now, which wasn't always the case in the past. So That's great. Yeah. I've had probably 10, 15 people ask me over the years, you're a big guy, what do you do, how do you get a big strap? Yeah. And so I'll tell them, and I'll send them a link to, here's the strap you buy, here's the bird extension, and it's, you know, it's the way to go, so That's believe me, it works. That's the best form of average. I really appreciate that, yeah, no so problem. thank you. Yeah. No problem. Well, beyond uh, straps, you sell some other things too. What are you some of the other products? We have uh, pocket systems, so like uh, I was mentioning the accessories, if you wanted to add a pocket to your strap, for instance, carry a cell phone, memory cards, batteries, that sort of thing. Um, we're, like I said, we're dabbling into, into new things, but uh, mostly the lens bling, yeah. Uh, so front body caps, first of all, which would uh, simply be a front body cap. Uh, and, and we have different designs for those. Uh, and uh, it just gives your bag a little bit of personality too. But then we have the lens caps, uh, the rear end lens caps for your lenses, which uh, can either call out the focal point, we have different focal lengths, um, or we're playing around with new designs so that it, a more generic uh, version that, it, again, could just give your bag a little bit of personality. A little bit of bling. Exactly, and some bling. Again, you need to have some bejeweled ones or something for some of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to take notes. You have a lot of really good ideas. If you need any ideas, just, just give me a call. Right. And speaking of things that hook on your bag, I saw that you have one called the Joey. I was thinking, was that related to the kangaroo Joey because it's a little pouch? I think that, well, see, I, I haven't been here long enough to know the answer to that question, but it is... It makes a lot of sense, and we're going to start saying that probably, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, there are a bunch of products we have. This is a, a well-known, not so well-known secret. So we have a, a, the, the underarm stabilizer here, which we call the Brad. Apparently, it's because it goes in your armpit, so the Brad Pitt. Like, there's there's all these explanations for things that I, I'm still learning about after two years of working for the company, so. See, that's what I love, the person, yeah. a company that has some personality. So what is it like working for Black, Black Rabbit? I mean, you know, it's it's actually amazing. Like, uh, we're just a very tight group, and we have a lot of fun. Just came back from Fotokina in Germany, and, like, the opportunity to be able to do things like that uh, and be able to travel. And then, we obviously, we have a lot of fun at these shows, but... I mean, Ron, our CEO, has uh, has really created an environment at our office, which we should have you to our office. Uh, it's like we have a log cabin for our, our office. Dan and I share one upstairs. I mean, uh, beer on tap, that sort of thing. Like, it's a, it's it's definitely a, a loose atmosphere, but we get the work done, too. So. And where else can you wear a pink tutu to work? Uh, anywhere, but you might get fired, probably. Yeah. So do you have an office mascot of any kind? <laughs> uh, we do. Actually, we're very dog-friendly, which goes into the, the you know the environment again uh, so but I would say Ron's dog uh, uh, has been around the longest uh, uh, Woofy is you know he's he's basically our, our mascot but yeah now you can any time of day you can stop in there's probably five or six dogs running around and they have their own little clan that they you know. I think I want to move yeah yeah so it's awesome yeah, very, very, a lot of my business is dog portraits because I love, love, love dogs. At any given time, there are multiple dogs at my house that don't belong to me. I'm just borrowing them or, or yeah. whatever. No, it's it's uh, it's complete chaos there sometimes. So. Another, <laughs> lots of dog fur floating yeah, around. Yeah. No outfit is complete without dog fur. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. All right, a couple of quick fun questions. So, Bigfoot, real or fake? Uh, God, I think it's the photographer's fault. Who said that? Mitch Hadberg. He's always taking... <laughs> Uh, out of focus uh, images. He's he's real. He's out there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you were a crayon, what color would you be? Oh my gosh. Uh, well, I love green, so it'd be some sort of green. Maybe a moss green. Is that a color? Excellent. Okay. I don't know. Goes along with the lost cat, the log cabin feel, the moss green go. nature. Yeah. Uh, dog or cat? Uh, dog person. I think I got. I, that. I do have a cat, but uh, I'm turning into a cat person. I'm still getting used to that. So. As long as the cat acts like a dog, right? Yeah, and gets along with the dogs, right? Okay. Uh, favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, man, uh, salted caramel. It's the second salted caramel we've gotten. It's excellent, yeah. How about a topping? Would you put a topping on it? Uh, yeah, geez, I don't know. Maybe hot fudge or something. But honestly, it's such a good flavor. It doesn't need anything else. Name something that's always in your refrigerator. Oh, my God. Old food, probably. Uh, <laughs> something that's always in, uh, red hot. Red hot, I good answer. Everything. I'm not going to swear. but. <laughs> Favorite part about being here at the expo? Uh, meeting the people, meeting the customers, honestly, and, and, and having the Tutu Project with us. We're just having a lot of fun. We went out last night, too, and we're going to be in the parade tonight, apparently, in the village. So uh, there's going to be like 50 of us in Tutus. But, but no, back to your question, uh, just meeting people. And, and actually, we learn a lot about things that we, we should be thinking about as far as product development and stuff. So it's just it's, it's an education, too. So yeah. I think that's a good way to end it. So thank you so much, Jared, for talking with us. This has been great. Thank you for doing it. We appreciate it. So, yeah, thanks, Greg.